Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to another pickups vid. Um, I'm feeling a little bit like shit today, so uh, I'm not going to be in front of the camera. But uh, I think you guys could uh, use the rest of my ugly mug, so I thought I would at least get this video out now. Um, yeah, I've, I've actually managed to pick up um, a lot of really good stuff as of late. Um, I've actually had a really good run on eBay. Um, I mean, pretty much the majority of all this stuff is was bought on eBay. And um, I have to admit, I actually had a pretty good run, um, a, a, a lot of uh, good fortune. I, I managed to buy a lot of good, a lot of good stuff for uh, well below the the going rate. So I was really, really chuffed. Um, most of this is actually going to be, um, well, actually, it's it's all pretty much going to be retro stuff. Um, uh, no PS3 games uh, in this video. Um, it's nothing really. There's nothing really been out there that's been interesting me. Um, so I just sort of decided to focus on, on some of my, um, my collection, so to speak. Um, but the first thing I wanted to show you guys, uh, are, uh, um, a DVD and a Blu-ray pickup. I thought I'd just mention it here. Uh, DVD that I found, this was actually, uh, bought in a charity shop. Um, it's an animated film and, uh, it's actually one I, I do enjoy, uh, I never really thought much of it in terms of going out of my way to get it, but uh, I saw it for cheap at the charity shop, so I decided to pick it up. And uh, that is the uh, Doctor Strange. This was the um, sort of one-off animated feature from Marvel. And uh, I have to admit, though, most of these um, uh, Marvel features uh, have been pretty poor, to be honest with you. I mean, they, they don't compare to the, um, to the animated films that... Uh, DC Comics have been making, but uh, this was definitely, I think, one of the better ones. Uh, just a decent origin story of uh, Doctor Strange. Um, if you don't know about Doctor Strange, well, you will at one point because he is actually going to be getting his own film very soon. So, um, you know, you, you know, I, I I recommend definitely checking this one out. It's a decent origin story, and I think Doctor Strange is a very cool character. Um, yeah, so that was that was great to find at a charity shop. And uh, the next one I've got here, this is actually a Steelbook pickup, but uh, it's actually another Marvel-related feature. And this one I was really chuffed to get because um, I bought this from Zavi, and it was one of those, it was a Steelbook, and it was one of those um, ultra-limited print runs, uh, Zavi exclusives, meaning that uh, if, you, if you had to be quick to get a pre-order in, otherwise you wouldn't get, the, you wouldn't get it. So I was really chuffed to get this because it sort of goes into my little... Um, still book marvel collection and uh, what i got was the uh ultimate uh marvel um animated films double feature <coughs> excuse me and this is a lovely lovely still book to sort of show you guys the back of the box really nice artwork on this one i'll show you the inside as well actually it's got lovely artwork. Really nice artwork. I just had to get this one. And uh, yeah, essentially what this is, it is uh, the uh, two Ultimate Avengers animated films basically in one Blu-ray disc. Um, I did actually have them individually on DVD, uh, but I couldn't pass up this really nice looking still book. Um, I mean, like I was saying before, you know, the, the Marvel animated films, to be perfectly honest with you, are, for the most part, pretty poor. Um, out of all of them, uh, the, the Ultimate Avengers ones are the ones that I like the most, as well as the Doctor Strange film. But the rest of them I, I don't really like. Um, but uh, if I was to compare the, 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 uh, the these animated films, even these ones, even the good ones, to like the DC efforts, I, I would say these are pretty average in comparison, but uh, they're fun. They're, 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 they're two sort of um, cool uh, Avengers animated films. If you like Avengers, I definitely recommend it. Uh, but yeah, I had to definitely get this still book because it's, it's really, really nice looking and it just comes off really well. So yeah, really chuffed to get that. Okay, now onto the games. Um, and before I actually get to the games, I did manage to pick up a little system here. And uh, this is one that I was really, really chuffed to get. Um, 
it was thanks to uh, Nez Nutter that uh, I managed to find out about this. And uh, I've probably given it away there. If you've seen his video, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, it's uh, one of my, it was a handheld, one of my favorite handhelds. So I'm very, very happy to get it. And that was the uh, Game Boy Advance SP, the AGS 101 model. And uh, this is actually brand this was actually brand new it was sealed in cellophane just completely brand new it's essentially it's it's uh it's new old stock and uh yeah i bought it off on ebay it's definitely was not cheap i will say that now um but i've wanted i've wanted to get the ags 101 model for a very very long time uh the game boy advance is one of my favorite systems there's some fantastic games for it and um oops and uh, it's definitely um, uh, a collection that I'm striving to sort of really perfect. I've got a fantastic array of games so far for it. Um, I really, I really, really recommend going into the Game Boy Advance if you haven't done so, especially if you're a fan of uh, of the Super Nintendo, because that's essentially what the Game Boy Advance is. It's, it's a portable Super Nintendo, a lot of fantastic side-scrolling games on it. And uh, yeah, I was really, really chuffed to get that, but I'll actually show you the system itself. So here it is. This is my uh, Game Boy AGS 101. Uh, for those of you that don't know what an AGS 101 model is, essentially this is the version of the system with the backlit screen. So if I just show you. Really is fantastic. And I have to say, once you once you buy this, I mean, once you have this backlit version, you can't really go back to the other one. And I've got uh, Dragon Ball Z, it was Dragon Ball Advance running on it. Fantastic game. As you can see there, it's all fully backlit. You can also increase the brightness on it as well, just by the button here. So yeah, just really, really, really chuffed to get this one. Um, really so happy to finally get myself uh, an AGS 101 model. And the brand new one as well. I mean, as you as you can see, it's it's pristine condition, absolutely pristine. Uh, like I say, it was brand new, so yeah, really really happy to get this. Um, definitely um, a big thank you to Lee Nesna for uh, giving me the heads up, and um, yeah, just really finally happy to to get this in my own collection. Moving on. I've got uh, one game here uh, for the uh, PlayStation 2, and uh, it's another game I found in the charity shop. This is one that I actually already have in my collection, but uh, I saw it there and I definitely couldn't turn it down. And that was uh, 1945 1 and 2, uh, essentially uh, a compilation of two really, really good uh, shoot 'em ups. So I was really glad to find that in the charity shop. And now moving on to some seriously good games here. Now, essentially all these games are uh, boxed Game Boy Advance games and uh, PlayStation 1 games. Um, I think I will start with the Game Boy Advance games. Now, first one I have here, this is actually one that I was really, really chuffed to get actually because it's one that you don't see often on e on eBay uh, boxed and complete at least and uh, when it does come up boxed and complete it tends to go for a decent price and uh, I'm happy to say that I didn't pay the going rate for it uh, I won it on auction uh, in fact uh, besides uh, besides two of them they, they were all pretty much won on auction so really really chuffed to get this one and that is um, Aladdin uh, this is essentially uh, a port of the Super Nintendo version, and uh, it's got some slight, some slight crush damage just here, unfortunately, but otherwise it's in really nice condition. To show you either side, I don't have a box protector for it yet, but uh, I will do at some point. So yeah, really, really chuffed to get this boxed and complete. 
It's a fantastic port of uh, Super Nintendo game. It's one of my favourite games on the Super Nintendo. So just to get it as a portable one is is, is uh, it's great to have. And uh, this is actually pretty pretty hard to come by. Like I say, uh, boxed in complete. So really really happy to finally get that in the collection. The next one I have here. This is um, again. This is this is a game that I actually already had as uh, a loose cart, uh, but I'm really really happy to to actually get it um, boxed and complete. And uh, that is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles double pack, and uh, this features both uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Two Battle of Nexus. Uh, two really, really good um, action side scrolling beat em up games based off the uh, 2002 uh, Turtles cartoon. And uh, this is the double pack from Konami. Um, essentially, it, it goes with my double pack of, cast of, the, of the two Castlevania games which I had. And uh, I definitely recommend it. it. It was actually quite cheap. It was, uh, well, cheap for a, for a brand new game. It was brand new and sealed. And it cost me uh, £20. And uh, yeah, really, really nice condition. I'll just show you. Absolutely. It was brand new, so it's, it's absolutely mint. Fantastic, fantastic game here. So that, that was uh, that was £20. So really, really chuffed to get that in the collection. I forgot to mention, actually, uh, I actually won Aladdin for uh, £17 which I thought was a really, really good deal. Um, as the going rate for, for a box complete copy tends to be around the £30 range, so so 17 quid was a, a really good bargain for this game. And uh, next one I have here, uh, this is another one that I already own as a, a loose car, and uh, it's one that I wanted to get uh, boxed and complete. And uh, really, really chuffed to have it because it's actually one of my favourite games on the Game Boy Advance. And that was uh, Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. And uh, this is a fantastic side-scrolling uh, beat-em-up platform game based on the original Dragon Ball anime. Fantastic game. Uh, I, highly, I highly recommend people check this one out. It's, it's definitely a, a hidden gem on the system. Brilliant, brilliant side-scrolling platform uh, action uh, highly recommended um, I was very lucky to actually get this copy in such good condition um, initially there was um, a box to complete uh, so-called mint copy uh, on a buy now for 40 quid which uh, I actually was kicking myself for, 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 for passing up uh, someone eventually bought it because this game is really hard to get box to complete in, in a nice condition but uh, then this one showed up on auction, and uh, I ended up winning it for uh, sixteen pounds. So I was so so chuffed because it really is in really nice condition. And I have to say also, um, I was also fortunate enough to, that all these sellers packed the games really well. So I didn't really. I mean, I I always send. Um, I always send a message to the sellers to make sure that they pack the games well, and uh, fortunately, they they pretty much all did. Uh, and even even the couple of them that didn't put them in in in, uh, in well protected packaging, uh, they at least arrived undamaged. So um, yeah, definitely had a, a very good uh, string of luck. So very very happy to get this one. And lastly, for the Game Boy Advance, uh, this is one that I actually bought on impulse uh, simply because it, it showed up as a buy it now for a very good price, for a ridiculously good price, I, I, might, I might add. Um, it was actually a game that I've been keeping my eye on. I don't own it, so I'm very glad to, to get a, a box copy of it. Uh, generally, the going rate for a box copy of this game seems to hover around the 50 to £60 mark. So uh, when this one showed up, I just snapped it up. I mean, it was only, it literally had just been uploaded and I just jumped on it, grabbed the copy and was really, really chuffed to get it. And that was uh, uh, Magical Quest 3 starring Mickey Mouse. And uh, this was essentially a port 
of uh, a Super Famicom exclusive game. And it's in lovely condition. I'll just show you. Really, really nice condition, this one. Great, great platform game. I've always wanted to get this one. Um, it's very expensive on the Super Famicom. It's definitely one that I, I was thinking to get on the Super Famicom. But uh, really, really tough to finally get this in, 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 in one format at least. And um, yeah, very, very tough. I mean, like I said, the the going rate for this game on the Buy It Nows was uh, 50 to 60 pounds. Uh, I actually picked this up for uh, for fourteen ninety nine, so it was fifteen pounds. Buy it now, and uh, it's in lovely condition. So very very tough to get this. Um, yeah, I mean I wasn't planning on buying it, uh, but I had to snap it up at that price. Just couldn't say no to it. So yeah, really tough to get that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the Game Boy Advance. Next three games here are. Um, PlayStation 1 titles, uh, three more great additions to my PlayStation 1 collection. Um, been sort of looking into the PS1 a bit more, just sort of trying to find out if there was any more sort of gems for the system. Um, now, these three were games I didn't know about beforehand, so I didn't have to do any research on these, these particular games. But uh, I'm still sort of looking into some uh, PlayStation 1 lists trying to find any games that um, might appeal to me. Um, really, really lucky with these ones. Uh, the first two, I want to show these first two together because I actually bought them together in an auction. And they are games that I'm really chuffed to have because um, they they were on my list to get. Uh, one more than the other, actually. Um, I had no, the, the This first game uh, was definitely on my list. The second game I didn't really know anything about, uh, but it, it's actually the more expensive of the two. So I had to actually win them together in, in an auction and to get them both below the going rate. Really, really excited to get. And the first game I have here is um, R-Types. Really, really happy to get this. Essentially, R-Types is a compilation of um, R-Type 1 and 2. And honestly, it is in fantastic condition. I'd, I'd, I'd say it's, it's very good. Not, I won't go so far as to say it's mint, but it's definitely uh, in fantastic shape. If I just open it up, so you've got the manual. It's in very nice condition. You've got some insert, and of course the disc itself. So really, really tough to get this. Definitely a, a title that I've wanted uh, for a long time. Uh, but the other one I actually got with this as well was um, R-Type Delta. And this is the one that I've, I've never played before. And uh, I have to admit, I, I've, I think it's fantastic. It's a fantastic game. It's, it's still very much um, a 2D uh, horizontal shoot-em-up, but it uses uh, 3D polygons. And it's fantastic. It, it looks brilliant. Really fantastic game, this one. And like uh, the original, like our type, it is. If I just open it up, it is in uh, fantastic condition. The manual and of course the disc. Both in really really great shape. And um, I actually won these together uh, on auction for uh, 23 pounds which i thought was definitely a bargain because um r types one gen generally tends to go for about 15 pounds and uh, r type delta basically sells for for 20 pounds and over all day long so to get both for 23 pounds was uh, an absolute uh, steal in my opinion so very very chuffed to have these two games in my collection uh, definitely highly sought after games um, at least the first one was for me, but uh, R-Type Delta was definitely a bonus. I'm glad to have picked it up as well. Um, it really is a fantastic shoot 'em up And lastly, uh, this is a game really chuffed to get because it actually completes this series for me on the PlayStation 1. And um, it, 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 admittedly, I've heard that it is the weakest in the series. Um, but, you know, I had to get it... Uh, because just to complete the run, 
Um, but the, the thing is, though, this one is, did prove a little bit tricky to get because um, it seemed on it seems to be going for just stupid money as a buy it now. So I didn't want to pay the kind of money that was being asked for it on the buy it now. Uh, but I was lucky to actually get it for the price that I was willing to pay for it, which was essentially half the price of 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 the of the average uh, buy it now price. And the game I got was uh, Mega Man X Six. So that completes the Mega Man X series for me. And uh, yeah, it's in really nice shape. And it is complete. The uh, The manual is a, is a little bit rough around the edges, but otherwise it's in very nice shape. Actually won this for uh, 38 pounds. Which is still pretty pricey, uh, but for this game, it's 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 definitely within the, within the range. I think forty pound is probably the most that I'm sort of willing to to spend on 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 PlayStation games now. Now that I've got sort of some a lot of the major ones out of the way, I don't really want to spend more than forty. And um, this game seems to sell around nowadays. It sells for around seventy to eighty pounds, which I I think is just ridiculous. It's not worth that much. Um, you know, if anything, some of the other games in the series would probably be worth a lot more because they're actually better games. But I am glad to finally add this one into the collection as well. Um, I, I won it on auction, so I was really, really chuffed to, to finally get it. And, uh, yeah. So uh, that's it, guys. That's essentially uh, what I picked up for these last few weeks. Um, I do have a few more games on the way. Some uh, Wii titles that I just sort of want to add to my collection. So they'll be in my next video. Um, it's it was actually my birthday uh, on Monday, the the twelfth of May. So um, I've just sort of been thought I'd treat myself a little bit more. Um, very very glad with with the uh, Game Boy Advance SP. Definitely definitely very very chuffed to finally have that because it's been it's been one that I never thought I would actually get, let alone uh, brand new. So uh, yeah. So uh, thanks very much, guys, for watching this vid. Um, I will be back soon. And, uh, of course, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And, uh, uh, of course, like the video if you did. And uh, I'll be back next time. Bye-bye.